As both temperature and pollen count begin to rise this spring, many Americans begin their seasonal battle with allergies. As many as 60 million Americans suffer from allergies, which can impact them either seasonally or even year round. In fact, allergies are one of the most common chronic diseases. It can cause more than just itchy eyes and runny noses. Dr. Nita Ogden is here to help us manage it all. Doctor, again, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about that impact on people and how we're all suffering, not only daytime, but also nighttime. How is it really having an impact on us? Well, allergies are really a 24-7 problem, as you said, not just affecting people during the day, but also at night. So those classic symptoms of itchy, watery eyes, nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, uh, cough, even shortness of breath uh, can have a real impact at night and affect people's sleep. And we know how important sleep is for us to get. And I know we did a, a social experiment. Tell me about that and what we found out. So the social experiment was very interesting because it tracked the sleep and activities of 80 allergy sufferers and 80 non-allergy sufferers over the course of a month. And what they observed was that people with allergy symptoms were four times more likely to have disrupted sleep. That means that they had a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep. And what that means is that these allergy sufferers, people with these allergy symptoms, they experience daytime fatigue. They're less productive during the day. I have a lot of my allergy patients who complain about this, they're just feeling exhausted. Um, they may not realize that it's coming from allergy symptoms affecting their nighttime sleep. Well, like I said, we know sleep is so important for our health, our mental uh, stability. There's so much that's attached to that. So do we have any tips for some of those sufferers? Yeah, so I recommend that um, allergy people be, people with allergies, sorry, that they be on top of the season. You know, check in with the pollen counts every single day on those high pollen count days. Avoid being outdoors too much. Stay inside, shut your windows, run your air conditioning. Uh, when you are outside, think about wearing big sunglasses and a hat to uh, protect yourself from the pollen. And when you do come home, take off your clothes and throw them in the wash. Uh, take a shower at night, wash your hair, um, rinse out your your eyes, uh, use some baby wipes to uh, wipe away that microscopic pollen on your lids and your lashes, a saline spray to irrigate your nasal passages, also that you're not going to bed uh, sort of coated with that microscopic hard to see pollen um, before you go to bed. Plus, you can look fabulous in a hat and sunglasses. You just look like you're fabulous. So it's exactly. got a, a dual purpose. What right. About, there is a fashion upside. <laughs> what about some treatment options? Is there anything new out there that we can uh, learn about? Yeah, definitely. So I recommend that people take a uh, antihistamine with 24 hour relief, uh, such as Zizol Allergy 24 hour. And that's new because it has it is now over the counter. So it's a new exciting option for allergy sufferers that's over the counter. And I like it because it provides 24 hour relief, which means that it's as effective at hour 24 as it is at hour one. And you take it at night so that uh, you get that nighttime rest and you wake up feeling rested and productive uh, during the day. Well, that's music to a lot of allergy suffering ears. So doctor, thank you so much. But is there somewhere yeah. where I can go and get more information? Yeah, you can go to Zizal.com. That's X Y Z A L.com for more information. Well, you've been a lifesaver doctor again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Don't go anywhere. The morning blend. We'll be right back.